Hey, welcome to another episode of a Film Life Vlog. And as you can see, I have some beautiful, beautiful, beautiful cameras right in front of me here. And I'm going to tell you all about this. So if you have been following me for a while, you would know that um, I not only shoot film, but I also uh, collect film cameras. That's actually my pride and joy, is collecting cameras. I often do these um, th uh, thrift store hauls, and I showcase the cameras that I get from my local thrift store usually. Uh, sometimes I also buy cameras online on eBay, but there's actually one source that I sometimes very rarely get cameras from that I have not shared uh, with you guys. Every now and then I go to this online classified uh, website, kijiji.ca. Uh, Some of you may be familiar with a similar uh, thing in the US, I think you have Craigslist. Uh, for us, uh, we have Kijiji. I'm not sure if it exists in the US as well. Every now and then I go on this website and I look up film cameras. Basically you choose a location and you can find anything in that location. I knew that I would be traveling to Edmonton yesterday. So a couple of days ago I went online and I was looking up cameras that I could find within Edmonton. Um, my goal was to see if I could get some good deals on any on film cameras because that's what I do. I, I sometimes I you know, I'm always looking up deals. If I can find a good deal uh, for a film camera, I will go for it because I love film cameras. That's my thing. That's what I collect and I love them. I love to just collect them. I shoot with them and I share the experience with you guys, right? Uh, I was lucky. I was lucky. There was this guy in Edmonton uh, shout out to you, Lyle. I know that you subscribe to this channel. He also has similar passions as myself. And I found out only after I met him, uh, he does music just like I do. Uh, he shoots film and uh, he's also enthusiastic about film. He actually told me he builds cameras as well. He was selling his collection of cameras and I was like, my goodness, these are some really nice cameras. And what really caught my eye were uh, three cameras, but I actually ended up with five cameras. And the best part of it is that everything that you're going to see uh, cost me $150. He was so kind as to give me some really excellent deals on these cameras. And ever since I brought them home yesterday, last night, I spent some time to really clean up the cameras and I must say I'm so pleased with them. So Lal, if you're watching, thank you. And I'm gonna share uh, these cameras with you right now. The first camera that really caught my eye, and this was one that, he was selling this camera for $50. And I was like, man, I want this camera. Cause I don't have this camera. I have a variant of it. I have a newer model. And that's this beautiful camera here. This is the Olympus OM-1, guys. And this camera comes with a drive unit here uh, as well. And guess what? It actually works. Now, check this out, guys. Isn't that amazing? Look at that. That is a beauty. That is a beauty, guys. This is such an awesome camera. Look at that, guys. Look at that. And the second camera that I was actually interested in was this one, the OM-10 camera. Such a beautiful camera, guys. Look at this beauty. <laughs> How can you go wrong with cameras like these? Look at the build quality of the camera like that. Nice, small, and sleek. Just lovely. So I was interested in these two cameras online uh, um, for obvious reasons. These are really quality, quality cameras. And the other camera that I, I was interested in was this little baby here. Now those of you that know about this camera, put a comment in 
the comment section below. So this is the Vivitar Ultra Wide and Slim. And this camera here has such a cult following online. It is renowned for the really wide angle uh, lens on this. It's 24 millimeters. And the fact that you can get a wide angle lens basically in a toy camera format is really a toy camera. The build quality is terrible, but it takes really good images. So I see these two other cameras that really catch my eye. The first one is actually this one here. And this one here is the Nikomat. And it comes with a really super fast lens. And that's an F1.4 uh, Nikkor uh, lens here. And Nippon uh, lens, obviously, that's a Nikkor lens. Um, but F 1.4 guys that is a super fast lens look at the beauty of this camera just look at how amazing this camera looks it's in excellent working condition just a beautiful beautiful camera this is the uh, F T model and this was known as the poor man's uh, Nikon F but it just became just as renowned as the Nikon F a lot of people swear by this camera uh, because it is built like a tank it's so heavy duty this camera is actually one of the heaviest SLRs that I've ever handled it is quite heavy guys and it's so solid I bet you I could throw this camera a distance and it will still uh, survive that fall. This is an amazing camera. Just look at the build of this camera. Look at this beast, guys. And the next camera was another big tank as well. So that was this one here. And this is the Zenit EM camera. This camera was made in the USSR, right there, and uh, that's the Soviet Union. True to form, it's a Soviet camera, so it is solid, um, just like the just like the Nikomat. And look at that beautiful, beautiful camera. Just a wonderful camera. The only thing with this camera, the only defect, is this thing here is missing a screw. This, this, there are two screws that were supposed to be on this. Only one is present. I think I can easily fix this with another screw that I can uh, put in there. Uh, that's not an issue at all. So once I'm able to do that, I think I'll be in business here. So I just love it. I just really, really love it. And I'm looking forward to doing a lot with uh, with these cameras. I really love these cameras and the best part of this is that Lau was kind enough to give me all these cameras for $150. I'm super grateful as you can imagine. Very grateful. I mean um, that's a really good deal. That is a super good deal. So I thought I would share this with you guys. I hope you enjoyed uh, this episode of the vlog. At a later date, I am going to uh, spend some time with each and every one of these cameras and I will certainly share that experience with you guys. As you guys know, I have so many cameras. I And I, I can go for years uh, going through uh, these cameras and showing different aspects of the cameras. So. As you can tell, I have a lot of good content coming to this channel. So if you have not subscribed to this channel, please do click the subscribe button. It's always awesome to yeah, see a new subscriber sign up uh, to this little family that I have going on here. And I hope that you guys continue to enjoy my episodes. I hope that you have a wonderful day. And as always, stay safe.